Hi, I'm Alison and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would get on to the next stage of this beautiful Femal Rose Chinese Bowl. Now in my previous videos, if you have missed, missed any, I have actually taken it apart and I've actually glued it back together again. And so now we're on the fight. Well, we've got one more stage to go after this, but we're now on the stage of filling in the cracks ready for the final stage, which will be uh, some gold gilding. So what I'm going to do first, it's all dried and with the glue and the glue, I've had it now for about four or five days for it to cure. And I've put some sellotape, sticky tape on there and I've done most of it. I've done the inside and I've flipped the bowl over and I'm now on the next on the next outer side. So as you can see here, I've just got here. I just have two more. I just lift it up a bit so it's quite heavy. Two more pieces of sellotape. So I'm just going to take the sellotape off, the sticky tape off here. As I say, I have done the other side. Now, once all the tape is off, what I like to do is get a piece of kitchen roll, just a little bit with a bit of um, some washing up liquid on there, some form of soap, and you just want to just go along the lines where it has been glued. So if there's any surface glue, it can just take that off you just don't want, you don't want to go too heavy just lightly i'll just turn it around a bit so you can see just make sure that's all off and then just wipe it with a a dry cloth right now once that's done we're ready to fill in now, I use a product called Milliput. There are plenty of other products on the market, and but I do find the Milliput, it comes in lots of different colours, and I just love it. I think it's probably the best product, and it's very easy to use. Again, it comes in two parts, and what you want to do is take the first one, the white, and take the a bit off and I tend to roll it in a round ball always make sure that you put it straight back into its film otherwise it may dry out so if I just pop that there and then the other part again what's this? this always seems to be slightly harder we want roughly the same amount Maybe a bit more I we'll say by doing it rolling them both in balls you can get a really good idea if they are the same that's literally there I might just take a tiny bit of the white off right so what you want to do is combine them both together really well. It just takes a moment. You want it to feel like blue tack at the end, so it's quite nice and pliable. The fact that one is slightly more yellow than the other, you can actually see when it's well combined. So there shouldn't be any marbling effect. It should be all nice combined. So it does start off quite, quite tough and it does start to get softer as you go along. Now with Milliput, it does come in various other colours. Um, we have a turquoise blue. We, this, the one we're using is a Milliput Super Fine White, which I find really is good and it sands very well and it's very good for moulding. I think it also comes in a terracotta and a black 
and have a funny feeling of yellow as well. Right, now that's combining quite nicely now. Literally there. Now, when you fill in all these little bits with the milliput, if you, it's good to have a tool, and I have a flat, if you see here, it's quite flat on the edge, and it's great for just digging in, and just not digging in, but just pressing in to any of the cracks. So I'd, if you can get hold of something like this, I'd recommend it. If you don't have anything like that type of tool, a palette knife is quite good. Um, a very small one with a flat edge or you could also use a cocktail stick depending on how fine the piece is. Right, we're all combined now so what I'm going to do is take a tiny part and I'm just going to place it onto my tool. Now I think I'll start here because you can see. So I just go along very very slowly And just like this and we just want to work all the way along the line takes a bit of time you want to make sure it's got into any cracks and all the way along here I thought I'd start on the underside first because I thought it'd be easier to show you rather than being inside the bowl. So if you, I'll do the underside first. I'll probably leave these parts here. Actually, no, and then I'll do those. Let it dry. Then I'll flip it onto the other side. Maybe not flip. Turn very carefully. <laughs> it's a very large piece, this, which is quite tricky. You see that I'm still going along and then what I'll do is once we've done I'll just do this a little bit more here I just want to show you so we've got one or two pieces which are actually missing um, so I'm going to fill those in as well so we'll do that now once you've done a reasonable amount what I like to do is take some water and if you just put your dip your finger into it and then just gently just smooth it along just to make it sort of smoother I think it I find it easier to sand down and also it feels any if you've missed any little cracks it actually does get right into there and just do that just smooth it down nicely Again, if there's any surplus, just get some kitchen roll and you can just gently just wipe along. You don't want anything water to be dripping everywhere. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this method and I'm going to go all along the bowl on the inside and then on the out and also in, from the outside but also on the inside. Now I just want to show you for an example here because otherwise we'll be here for a very long time doing this. Now where is it? I do have a chip. Uh -huh. If I just very carefully turn it over. Right, now where is that chip? Let's go along here. So I want to show you. Right, can you see here? There's a chip here. Just a small one, but you want to fill that in. So what we do is we take our piece of milliput. Again, just a small amount, and you could put it onto, you know, your little item, but I tend to just use my fingers and just mould it through, depending on how large the chip is. You just want to mould that in and blend it through. And make sure it goes through on the other side as well. Yeah, that's got a bit in there. 
then I would get my water, dip it in, and then just oops, let's take that off first, dip it in, and then just smooth it down. You don't want it to be protruding too much because you'll just give yourself more work when it comes to sanding. Just a little bit, but you, you don't want it completely flush either because you want something so it's slightly protruding out but not too much. And then just smooth that out into the shape. And then we can get on with the rest. For instance, I would then take a little piece and again just work our way along. It's a bit wet now. There we go. Start there, I think. So and work our way along there. It's about to come off there, isn't it? Let's give on a bit more there. There we go. smooth it down and then we can work on to the next piece you can see it's all matching onto that side as well I mean you could do it this way just by just very gently doing it pushing it along now I want to show you, if you haven't got a tool like this, I'll show you with a cocktail stick because that is very easy for anybody to get hold of. So we have a cocktail stick here and you would just take a small piece and we'll just do a little bit. Say, let's just do this little bit here and you could actually just push it along. Actually, what I would do actually is just Take it, put it into a round shape, into a sausage, press it on, and then, that's it, and then use the cocktail stick to just gently move it along. Press it onto there. It does take more time with the cocktail stick, but obviously if you don't have a tool, Then get your finger, just dab it on and just move it across. There is another technique you can use if you don't want to use a cocktail stick. Is for instance to take a piece of milliput. Again, make it into a sort of a sausage shape because it's quite sort of lengthways. So it's kind of like that. And then if you just place it just gently on the line... And then you can just press it down with your finger or your fingernail. This is quite a good technique actually. And then again, just get some water with your finger and then just smooth it down. Now I am going to go through the whole of the bowl with this process. I'm going to finish off the outside first, as I say, and then I'm going to move on to the inside. And then on my next video, we are going to do a very basic kintsugi effect, which basically I'm just is with gold paint. So we'll have a lovely effect coming all the way along the bowl here in gold. So again, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe and please like. And I will see you in the next one. OK, bye.